State officials on Saturday announced 19 new coronavirus cases in New Jersey, bringing the official statewide total to at least 69 positive tests since the outbreak began, though the number could be as high as 75 based on additional information from Bergen County. The update was provided on the State Department of Health coronavirus website ahead Gov. Phil Murphy's telephone briefing Saturday afternoon with reporters about the ongoing spread of the virus, which has forced unprecedented shutdowns, cancellations, and school closures in the Garden State. We're doing everything we can to get ahead of this challenge, Murphy said during the briefing. We will get through this. It will not be mistake-free, I'm sure. The 19 new cases announced by the state include 7 in Bergen County, 7 in Middlesex County, 2 in Essex County, 2 in Hudson County, and 1 in Monmouth County. The patients range in age from 18 to 80 years old. 13 of them are women and 6 are men. State officials did not provide more details about the patient, such as where they live or are being treated. While the state briefing was ongoing Saturday afternoon, Bergen County Executive James Tedesco issued a statement saying the county had 31 cases, six more than the state's account, raising the possibility the state has 75 coronavirus cases. State and local officials have provided contradicting numbers in previous days, as well. State Health Commissioner Judy Persichilli said the discrepancy could be because private testing facilities are reporting directly to local officials, which is then relayed to the state. The state updates on the total number of cases once a day on its website. It's at a point in time, Persichilli said. Because everyone here is working 24-7 to take care of things we take care of, we have to stop at some point. She said officials expect the number of cases in New Jersey to jump further in the coming days. We expect them to increase from North Jersey to South Jersey, Persichilli said. We expect everyone will take the precautions necessary that we have discussed and shared over and over and over again. Everyone can expect the coronavirus will be in their community. Persichilli said there are 26 pending cases at the state laboratory. She also announced that a second hospital, Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, began testing at its lab Thursday. But she didn't have information on pending tests outside the state lab. I have absolutely no idea what is pending at the commercial labs and at the hospital labs, Persa Kelly said. Meanwhile, officials said Saturday they will no longer use the phrase, presumptive positive cases, because the Federal Centers for Disease Control said all positive tests conducted in public health labs are now considered confirmed. They also said the state is working with Bergen County to set up New Jersey's first widespread coronavirus testing site, to be opened by Monday at Bergen County Community College in Paramus. Meanwhile, the State Department of Corrections is temporarily suspending visits at state prisons and halfway houses for the next 30 days. And municipal court sessions in New Jersey will be suspended for two weeks to reduce exposure to the virus. Murphy said Friday that a long-term shutdown of public schools across the state is inevitable and the announcement could come within days. We are not yet in a position to make a specific announcement on that, the governor said Saturday. On Thursday, Murphy recommended all public gatherings with 250 people or more be cancelled. He said Saturday he has heard of no blatant violation of the recommendation so far, but he reserves the right to make it a mandate if needed. We'll continue to keep our eye on it, the governor said. Murphy said there are still no plans to require Atlantic City casinos to shutter gambling because while there may be 250 people on a casino floor at any given time, the enormous expanse of those buildings allow for people to keep their distance from each other. The first coronavirus death in the state, a 69-year-old man from Bergen County, was announced Tuesday. Another suspected coronavirus death of a patient in Monmouth County remains under investigation, and the test was expected to be completed Saturday, Persichilli said. The full county-by-county county breakdown of total cases in New Jersey. The novel coronavirus, which causes the illness COVID-19, has three main symptoms, fever, cough, and shortness of breath. They usually develop 2 to 14 days after exposure to the virus, according to the CDC. Because there are a limited amount of tests available at New Jersey's state lab, patients must meet certain criteria in order to be tested. 
That includes, showing symptoms of lower respiratory illness, having contact with someone who is known to have the coronavirus, and travel to an area with a level 2 travel health warning from the CDC within the last 14 days. There have more than 155,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus across the globe, more than 2,500 in the U.S., according to a running tally by the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center. Of that number, more than 5,800 people have died, while more than 72,500 have recovered. All but one U.S. state, West Virginia, has at least one case, according to a map by the New York Times. New Jersey has the seventh most cases of any state. If you would like updates on New Jersey-specific coronavirus news, subscribe to our Coronavirus and NJ newsletter. Brent Johnson may be reached at bjohnson at njadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at johnsb one Have a tip? Tell us. nj.com slash tips. Get the latest updates right in your inbox. Subscribe to nj.com's newsletters.